In this video, we broke down the most important aspects of the AS2890.3 2015. Following AS2890.3 is integral to the success of end of trip facilities. It ensures the facility is suitable and accessible for all kinds of users. A bike room also needs to be designed to these standards in order to receive a green star point for end of trip facilities. Finally, failure to follow the guidelines can result in development approval delays. So what are the need to knows of the AS2890.3? The 20% horizontal minimum. According to this standard, at least 20% of the bike parking spaces in a facility must allow for horizontal parking of bikes. This is key to making bike parking accessible for riders unable to lift a bicycle and for the parking of non-standard bicycles. If you don't apply this standard, riders will use vertical racks the wrong way, as shown here. The bicycle spacing envelope. The bicycle spacing envelope is the overall footprint of the average bicycle. It forms the starting point of all required bike parking dimensions and specifications. The dimensions of the bicycle spacing envelope are 1,800mm by 1,200mm by 500mm. Static bicycle parking standards. A static bike rack contains no moving parts and is fixed in position. We differentiate vertical and horizontal static bike parking. Here are some problematic designs of vertical static racks. The center lines of these racks are less than required, meaning that bikes will clash. In 70% of such cases, you'll only get one bike in a two-park rack. The single hooks on the rack also don't support your wheel, are hard to use and can be easily cut. According to Australian standards, static bicycle parking must allow for the minimum bicycle spacing envelope. Vertical static racks, like our Cradle and Silver Bullet, require 500mm centres when staggered and a handlebar offset of 300mm. Vertical static single-tier bicycle parking requires 700mm centres. Some horizontal racks try to pack bikes in like sardines, as shown left. Claim staggering without a dynamic functionality, as shown in the middle. Or don't support bikes at all, as shown on the right. These racks make manoeuvring a bike in and out of it very hard. Following Australian standards, horizontal static bicycle racks, like our wishbone and hoop, are spaced at 1,000mm centres. This ensures each bike has enough spacing when storing two bikes on each rail. Dynamic bicycle parking standards. Dynamic racks are bike racks with a moving part, like our track. They need to comply with the bicycle spacing envelope at the point of insertion and removal. This way, a dynamic rack can store a bike at a reduced centre of 400mm provided the racks are staggered at a 300mm vertical offset. Dynamic double-tiered designs, like our ARC, also allow for 400mm centres using the same vertical offset. Such racks require a minimum ceiling height of 2,600mm. We have seen bike parking suppliers claim that spacing of 400mm can be achieved with ceiling heights less than 2,600mm. Taking the bicycle envelope into account, it just doesn't add up. Aisle Width Standards The necessary aisle width is measured from bicycle envelope to bicycle envelope, not from rack to rack. This is an often overlooked aspect and can result in bike rooms like this. Double tier designs require 2 meters between each envelope. Everything else requires 1.5 meters between each envelope. So that's our short guide to the AS2890.3. We understand that these standards can at times be somewhat complex but we are here to help. Get in touch if you have any questions.